our most valued family, friends and guests, especially our friends from around the world who have come from a long distance. Good evening. We have with us as our special guest today, our spiritual and religious leaders. They have come specially to bless Anand and Radhika. Aap sab ko mera sadar pranam aur khub khub swagat. To all our guests today, on behalf of Dita and me, I have to say that the Bharat took over and we could not welcome you as we would have liked to from our heart. So, my apologies, we wanted to welcome each and every one of you. And I take this opportunity that Nita, I, along with Shaila and Viren, welcome each and every one of you with a warm heart. In the Indian tradition, marriage is between two individuals, whereas a wedding is between two families and all their friends and near and dear ones. Therefore, we are profoundly grateful to all of you for sharing our joy and excitement at the auspicious wedding of Shobhveva Sanskar of Anand and Radhika. This is the final and the most auspicious ceremony of their divine union and the last wedding in our family. Nita has worked very hard to curate a deeply immersive experience of India's rich culture and a spirit of a traditional Indian wedding. Over the next two days, participate wholeheartedly in the festivities and enjoy them to your heart's content. I am sure all of us together will make memories that will last forever. I must say that we have started well. I was overjoyed to see many of you dance rapturously in the Bharat ceremony as a part of the groom's procession. On this long-awaited occasion, I invoke with utmost devotion the blessings of our Kul Devta, our Gram Devta and Ishta Devta and all the elders of the Ambani and the merchant families. The first to bless Anand and Radhika will be their doting grandparents, those who are with us today and those who are in heaven. Today I pray to the Almighty that Radhika and Anand be so blessed that their life together is filled with Sukh, Swasthya, Samriddhi and Safalta. Happiness, health, prosperity and success. I also pray for the good health and limitless happiness and the boundless success for each and every one present here and your blessings for Anand and Radhika. On this auspicious day, together with all of you, we invoke Panch Tattva, the five foundational elements of Mother Nature that nurture all life on planet Earth so that they offer strength and sustenance to the couple. Sanatan dharm mein viva ko jeevan ka sab se mahatvapun sanskar mante hai. Anant kaal se viva vyakti ko samad se dharm se aur adhyatma se jodta hai. When marriage is performed according to the Sanatan vidhi, it acquires the divinity of celestial unions. Just as Lakshmi resides in Vishnu's heart, Anand will always keep Radhika in his heart. This will make their married life beautiful, blissful, smooth and cultured. The Vedas regard marriage as a duty towards humanity. Marriage is the basis of a family. Family is a basis of community and community is the basis of society and the larger human family. Marriage thus becomes the most essential guarantor of the continuity, cohesion and well-being and progress of the human race. Therefore, the matrimony of Anand and Radhika commits them to serve humanity as a whole. Friends, guests, ladies and gentlemen, the air is filled with spiritual aroma. Gods and goddesses have descended from heaven into this Vaikuntha 
all of you have settled and now with your blessings and good wishes let us begin the most pious ceremony of shubh vivah thank you jai shri krishna